Chapter 6 The Prison Camp Once Frank was sentenced, he knew that he had to take care of a lot of things. Remember, he was working at the video store for a year before he was sentenced. His main worry was leaving me by myself while he was serving his sentence. First of all, we needed to come up with enough money to pay the rent and bills for about a year until Frank was back home. There was a solution to get the money we needed. Frank had given me a real diamond wedding band when we start going together, which was in a safe deposit box at the bank, which was valued at $20,000. Frank asked me, do you want to sell the real diamond or pawn it? I told Frank, I think we should pawn it. That way, we can still get it back when this ordeal is over. Frank said, then that's what we'll do. The next day, Frank pawned the real diamond and got enough money to pay the rent and bills for a year. Since I was working part-time, I could use some of this money to pay towards the real diamond until Frank was back home again. Since I was going to be alone, Frank got this guy from work to help me with shopping and anything I needed done around the house. Frank continued to train people to take his place while he was at the prison camp, which would guarantee that he would have his job waiting for him when he was released from custody. Frank had hired a lawyer that he knew for a long time. He told Frank that he would make sure that he served his sentence in the best facility available. The public defender would have let Frank be sent anywhere they please. Once this was set up, all that was left is for Frank to get this sentence over with. Frank hated to leave me alone, but I was so sad that when Frank left, we both hugged and kissed each other, and Frank said, Don't worry, Marie, I'm going to a prison camp, not Alcatraz. Frank, with tears running down his face, told me he will call and write me as much as he can. Frank went to his lawyer's office, and he drove him to the prison camp, which was about three and a half hours from our home. Frank and the lawyer talked all the way to the prison camp. I guess the public defender wouldn't have drove Frank to the prison camp. Once Frank got settled in the prison camp, this was like a vacation for Frank. This place was like a country club. You were free to move about no, and no bars. This is like going to college. This camp was small with a population of about 200 inmates. The lawyer told Frank that the best job to work at is in food service. Frank got this job easily because he had restaurant experience. So every morning, the guard would tap on his bed at about 4 a.m. to go to work. Frank got paid 50 cents a day. Frank liked the job, and they liked him. Frank called me every day and wrote me as much as he could. He spent much of his time in the law library researching his case. Frank filed appeals, motions, and lawsuits while he was serving his time. Some of the inmates thought he was a lawyer. They were asking him to help them with their cases. Frank gave them a lot of advice. The time was passing and I was doing all right. Frank called and told me that he was playing baseball and he was hitting home runs, right-handed and left-handed. I found out something I didn't know, that Frank was a switch hitter. I kept paying the monthly payment on the real diamond. I think that Frank was getting spoiled. They even did his wash. Frank was released four months early for good behavior. He was on his way to the halfway house. 